I, I've bought in, by the way. You have won me over. So all these years we fought over Green Bay. I oh. always I always associated you as Green Bay. All the years Aaron was there, I was always on Aaron's side. Even before he was on the Jets, I was on Aaron's side and all that fighting with the front office, with Brian Gutekunst and everything else. And I've come to realize, like, they just know what they're doing. Th that kid is great. I watched Jordan Love play the second half of last season. He's genuinely great. Played really well in that playoff game in Dallas. Had the one shaky moment against San Francisco, but he had them right there with a the chance to win that game against a team that is really good. They're getting better on offense. They've made some really good moves. That defense should play much better. I, I think Love is about to become special. And a really young group around him. All of his pass catchers last year were either first or second year guys, and they grew together. I was talking to the GM, Brian Gutekunst, a couple weeks ago for a story I was doing on roster building, and, and he talked about how that group came together and how, like, the, the, the fact that they went through the difficult part of the schedule together and emerged with the same kind of scar tissue on the other side helped their growth. Now. You mentioned with Detroit, right? Teams don't always follow the linear uh, path upward. Still a young group. Yeah, could there be some kind of, you know, step back before a step forward? Entirely possible. Yeah. But yes, look, it, it, there's nothing not to like about what Jordan. They're, going, they're going. They're going for it though. Especially sure. when you see the addition of Josh Jacobs. That means that they're trying to to win right now, and they recognize mm -hmm. that they have a cheap quarterback that they can go out and make sure. some roster moves. Okay, so. I think they brought up very interesting points that I really wanted to highlight. We talk about, um, you know, this young team and how it's like first or second players and Jordan Love. And, and that's why they were able to, you know, that's why they had the success that they had, but also why we give them the grace as to not being able to go even further, you know, last season, like beat the 49ers and then beat the Lions and go on to the Super Bowl. It was like kind of like this is house money. It's amazing what they've been able to do in the first place. I think they were like the youngest team to ever win. Uh, that wild card round against at you know on the road like that, um, some stat like that. I forget, forget exactly what it was, but here's something that I think is being um, under discussed and how it's going to have a profound impact. A profound impact when you're on a team, right? Whether it's the NFL, NBA, a varsity team, you know, whatever it may be, as long as it's relatively competitive. You go, you you build a, a legitimate family type relationship with these guys, right? With with your teammates, you're together for so much time, so much time, and you're traveling. You're getting yelled at from the coaches together. You're being praised together from the coaches. Like you're you're going through such a similar experience, right? You go through the ups and the downs, the left, the right, the praise the booze, the everything, right? You win together, you lose together. It sounds cliche, but it's true. And, and, and all of that adversity, all of that connection really gets stronger and stronger and stronger. But now this is where professional sports kind of gets separated from, say, maybe like college or again, like high school varsity, anything of those nature, is that you can now be mixed with players who have been around the block once or twice. And now oftentimes... Those seasoned veterans, the guys who have already gotten paid a gajillion dollars, ones who maybe have already won a Super Bowl or already are in all the commercials, whatever it may be, who are already married, have children, they're just living a, a, a different life than some of the other players. It's not that you don't connect with those players. You just connect on them on a different level. It's just different. It's just different. We see this a lot, and this is usually heightened when you see really great players like the Tom Brady's or the Aaron Rodgers, for that matter, where they're just a lot significantly older, or LeBron James, Steph Curry, and they're not connecting with the younger guys. They're like 10, 15 years older than them. I mean, that's just that's just a hard thing to do. No matter, even though you guys are both professional athletes and are on the same team, LeBron James is living a wildly different life and has lived a wildly different life for the last 20 years as a new 22-year-old rookie first second or third year player in the nba it's just completely different they're just living completely different lives and so the unique thing about jordan love and the rest of that roster with the packers is they are all going through this together they they all have nothing together they're all building something together and they've all succeeded together so there's no one really above anyone else and there's no one else that's been like, well, I, when I was with the Giants and we won the Super Bowl, like there is none of that. It's just them together figuring it out, going through it together. 
And to me, that's what makes the Packers so exciting because they've already had that level of success. And it's not to say that they still don't have some growing pains and adversity to face. But to me, they are set up to be such a wildly connected team, a wildly connected team that has really high levels of chemistry, rapport, um, respect for each other, you know, wanting each other to succeed. Um, not like I'm the king of this mountain and you're just happy to, you know, and you're, you should just be grateful to be here, which we see with a lot of teams, right? There's a lot of egos in all professional sports, especially the NFL. So I think the lack of that bodes so well for the Packers. It's so, I, I, to me, it reminds me a lot of the team of, of the Eagles when the Eagles won the Super Bowl in 2017. There were so many guys there that had been there for a while and, and it was like a family. You know, they they suffered for years and struggled. They finally got the team together and then they won. And then that core group of, of guys who were the real leaders of that team were able to, with a, another new cast of characters, but still keeping that core together with the new quarterback, a new coach, you know, new OC, new DC, new everything. And they were able to go back to the Super Bowl on the you know on the backs of the of those main guys and to me that is what the packers have right now they have built that core it's a very young core who are aging and growing and learning together and what makes it even better is you have an elite experienced head coach offensive head coach at that which makes it even better but he's young and kind of new age in that regard right but also experienced. He's already made his mistakes. Not to say that he's not going to continue to make mistakes because all coaches do, but he's already made some mistakes that he's had to look in the mirror and go, oh my God, did I just mess that up? Could we have gone to the Super Bowl? Should we have won that game? Did I call the wrong play with Aaron? Right? Like, And he dealt with Aaron Rodgers. That's, I mean, that's a massive amount of experience and a concentrated time. So, you know, he's made so many mistakes. He's made so many great calls as well. So now he's been kind of been forged through experience. But again, still young enough where he understands this young core. So it's such a fascinating balance to me. And I think it's really, really setting up the Packers to be elite for years to come. I'm not going to answer the question, will Jordan Love be the best QB in the NFC in, the, in, the, in 2024? Because... Who knows, honestly. There's a lot of great quarterbacks out there. I guess if we lock it down to the NFC, and, and again, as I've said in my previous video, I think Jordan Love is is at the top of my list for winning MVP uh, this season, right? I've been very clear about that, but I think it's a handful of guys um, that could really take that. Um, obviously, the Lions have a great roster, which I know Packers fans don't want to hear, but they do. It's just the reality. Um, the Eagles have made some serious changes, so you don't know what Jalen Hurts is going to look like. Um, you know, there's just definitely other teams and players out there. I, you know, but Jordan Love, without a doubt, and again, I, I feel like I always have to say this. I do not put quarterbacks in a one, two, three, four, five. I put them in groups. I just say that they are the top of the list or, you know, right below the top, whatever it is. And to me, it's no question that Jordan Love is at the top of the list. So is he, a better question is, is he a top quarterback in the NFC? And my answer is 1000% yes, not a single doubt in my mind, which is why in my previous video, I said, pay the man. Like you can absolutely pay him, get him now. If you wait until down the road, it's going to be even more money, 65 plus million dollars. You can maybe get him now for like 55 or something. Or even if you got him 60, you're still saving five. And considering you have such a great young team that you will eventually have to pay. And you see this with the 49ers now running into that trouble. You want to be smart about it. Don't let money get in the way of, of shortening what could potentially be the, the the best team in the NFL for years to come. I mean, th this is a young core that will only improve. They will only get better. They will only mature because that's also the best thing about this team is that they're so mature and they have a mature leader at that in Jordan Love and LaFleur. So again, it just, it's just a perfect mix for the Green Bay Packers, and that's why I am wildly high on them. And I disagree with Greeny where you said Jordan Love is about to become special Jordan Love, to me, is already special. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys think? Do you think that the Green Bay Packers will make some serious moves this season? And do you think Jordan Love will be the best quarterback in the NFC or AFC uh, this season? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment, so that you agree with me or disagree with me. Either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. 
And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of, and I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.